Thank you so much, guys. All right, Corey, in your last performance against Song Yedong, it was a beautiful outing. What really did you take from that one that you can carry with you against Cheeto? Against Cheeto, it's always just like getting better at things, you know, like I'm, I, I, I like pride myself big time on maybe, you know, being too much of like a martial artist where like I don't turn it off. I don't turn off the learning, you know, almost to the point where like I got to cool it as I get closer to a fight or else I'll just be working on stuff in the cage, which uh, obviously is not a good idea. So I'm really excited. I've done nothing but get better since my last fight. So I can't wait. Where do you think we as observers will see those improvements or those places where you have learned? I think just capitalize everything, you know, like everything. Like I've been doing a lot of jujitsu with Ryan Hall. I've been, do, you know, my striking coach Christian Allen is one of the best in the world, and Carrington Banks is one of the hardest working coaches, who's on his way to being one of the best coaches in the world too. So I have really good people around me. I work my ass off, and that's it. How happy are you to be able to fight here in front of a crowd? You guys were moved from the apex to here in San Antonio with this huge AT&T Center. So excited. I can't even, I cannot even put it into words the last time that I was this excited about a fight and just being in front of a crowd that isn't in Abu Dhabi and isn't tiny inside the apex. So I'm, I'm, I'm planning on setting this roof on fire tomorrow. Talk to me about how you foresee this matchup. You just said you are a martial artist. Obviously, you study the game, you study your opponents and yourself. So when you look at you versus Cheeto, what do you see, Corey? I think I'm a technical master at this sport, almost. You know, like I'll pull back on it a little bit, but I'm a technical master. So that's what I'm going for, technical. In your last fight, we saw a lot of takedowns from you. I believe it was one shy of your previous 10 fights combined. For you, was that something that was just for Song Yudong? Was it something you want to elevate your game and bring to the next level? Can we expect that from you this time around? That's what you got to do in order to get better. You know, like you, you got to be the GS. You got to like shoot for the GSP. You know, you got to be really well-rounded. I want to be champ and I want to reign as champ for a long time. And that means adding in a lot of things that uh, I wasn't as good at before. And now I'm developing and I'm getting better and I'm on my way. And you both, both of you guys have seen those later rounds. This one's scheduled for 25. What do you believe that could mean for you both and what we could see in the matchup? I love five round fights. Uh, I'm from 5280, you know, Denver, Colorado. We're, we're really high up in the air. So fighting down here, you know, like even this week, it was hard to get tired. So uh, I'm excited for it. I love five round fights so much more than three round fights. I get to just do, you know, another 10 minutes of fighting, which I love. And which we will watch for sure. Corey, good luck to you. Thanks. Thanks. Guys.